Thank you. Uh, we have seen with the President's health care bill and the regulations recently issued by Health and Human Services an unprecedented affront to re religious liberty. And if we put religious institutions and faith-based organizations in the position where they have to comply with government mandates that violate the principles of their faith, it violates our First Amendment to the Constitution, and really it's an affront to what we stand for as Americans. I'll say this, this is not a women's rights issue. This is a religious liberty issue, and it can apply to all faiths. And I've heard from my constituents who are deeply, deeply concerned about this. We need to respect the res rights of conscience for all religions. And when you look at what this administration has done, uh, really it's awoken a whole group of people that are deeply, deeply concerned about an unprecedented extension of government into issues that we have always left in the quiet of people's homes, in their churches, and in faith-based institutions. And I'll say this also, uh, what the administration has done is really an unprecedented in terms of both parties have respected uh, re religious liberty. If you look uh, at what uh, was signed into law in 1993, uh, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, what this administration has done also violates not only the spirit of that law, but also the letter of that law, which was signed into law by a Democratic president. So again, I would say this is unprecedented. This is not a women's rights issue. This is a right that goes to the fundamental of our First Amendment in the Constitution. I would call on the president to overturn these health and human services regulations, to stop infringing on religious freedom, and to really change the direction of what we have seen with the unprecedented expansion that we've seen from Obamacare. Thank you. Well, thank you.